Okay, let's try her again. Oh, this, is, this is pretty heavy. That's why I got my lumbar support on. I'm just going to line this up where I think it needs to go. Come right there, like that. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm evenly centered as I lift this. To see where my center point is. Is it here? Is it up here? Is it down there? I think, okay, that feels pretty good right there. I'm liking that. Here we go again. I'm resting it on the bolts. Looking at that, looks like it needs to go over to the left a little bit. That's going to be okay. You know? And it's still, maybe I should just take that whole black thing off, huh? But see, I'm, I'm tight to the floor here, and I'm almost tight there. And it might just be that's how, that's how the floor is. And the beauty of this ring is. I can kind of check things out because there's a high point on the tile right there. I'm right down tight to the floor, right there as we speak. And over on this side here, I'm almost tight there. Okay? Just about tight. And the floor at the at this other side is a little bit low so see if I put a shim at the front and that's and that's what they had before I can try putting a shim under there and see what's gonna happen how they had the shim before it still looks a little rocky and see the good thing is with this with this uh, ring on there I can do I can do whatever uh, because it's not wax. Okay, now I have to make a decision. Hey, do we leave that black thing on there or not? Is that, is that hindering us here? It sure seems like it, doesn't it? It seems like it's just barely, I mean barely, uh, still holding me up. I'm not quite sure if I'm liking that. I'm going to have to make a decision here. What would you do on this? Looking at that, it sure seems, if anything, it seems like, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't really think that's holding it up. Uh, the only way to tell is to pull it out. We're going to do this again, Joe. Pull it out. We can because it's a waxless ring, can't we? I'm getting good at this now. I think I should pull it out, take that black thing out of there, and just put the blue and see what that happens. And if it still rocks like this, I may have to, I may just do it again. You know? The last thing I want is for this thing to leak when I get done, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull this up. And I'm going to keep the camera rolling. I'm going to pull that out. And I'm just going to put the blue like that, okay, just like it said, flush. It did say that, right? Flush or sticking up, put that on there, okay? Oh, let's, let's do, try it again. Let's try it again. Get it held up there. And it looks like i got to go back and to the left a little bit. Right there. Look at that. Now see that feels from left to right. That feels nice. Let's see if I if I push on it a little bit. I 
got a little bit of a rock. See like that right there? But from left to right, I'm down nice and tight. I'm liking that. And the reason why it's rocking, well, before we do anything, I'm going to slide it over to where it was before. And that's, that's the beauty of these waxless rings, let me tell you. Because I can move this wherever I want, and it looks like it's exactly where it was before. Left to right, I'm pushing on it, that's fine. I've got a little gap over here on the, on the top, or on the right hand side. And I could put, I could put your little shim. Remember I saved this shim here. Okay, I can put that back on there. Or, what else could I do? I could take my composite shims. Remember, here I've got some plastic composite shims here. These are plastic. And um, they're designed that you can snap it wherever. See, you can snap it like that. And then you can do that. And then you can put the shim in. But if it's not exactly right, then it's like, okay, where else do I snap it? And so, see, you can take a pair of dikes and then you can cut it about where you want it, you know. And then you can, you can just cut it and, and clean it up, you know. And that's, your, that's your piece that you want, maybe. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of look at this. And remember the Herkel flange is way back here. So I could probably push this whole shim in without hitting anything. See, it, it's, go, it's going pretty far. But, you know, the safe side, I just snap that off. Now I can put this where I think. Because see, this, this little shim here, it, it's going right. I think it's going right under. And so it's not, it's, it's too small. Okay. And let's see what happens here. This is almost, wow, it's almost perfect, but then it's, I might have messed myself up by showing you on that one piece. See? So, Good thing for me, I got more. I can snap that. I can hold it up in there about where I think it needs to go. And hold my finger right there. And then see, I can snap it off right, right there, I think. And that went, that went too far. I think. Oh, nope. Okay. Hey now, come on. I guess it can be this piece here. I guess it can be that. Or could it be this one? I think I'm liking this one. Okay, right about like that. And I see where I have to go. So this time I'm going to be smart and I'm going to cut it. Let's see, and that's snapped off where it needs to be. And I can push that in there. And I can leave it right there. And then I can caulk that. Okay. Now I can mess around with these shims a little bit more. But before I do too much of that, what's my next step? I've got to tighten those, the bolts down. Okay. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to try to get in here without getting my hands in the way. Okay. I want to put the plastic, this plastic cap first. You notice there's a ridge on one side. See how it pooches up? I want that facing down. Okay. I don't want it facing up like this because then it's going to be hard to get the cap snapped over that. This is designed so it raises this plastic up just a hair to get to allow this to go down further and snap on. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on first. And I've lined this up exactly where it looks like the old one was. Okay, I'll put that on there. 
and before I put the nut on and see that was fine leaving those old ones on there sometimes they cut them so short that you have a hard time finding them or they don't stick up far enough okay so now I got a metal washer put that on there and I've got the nut and let's see if I can do this I'm kind of standing on my head trying to get this on so that my hands not in the way of you okay okay so I've got that on and now here's the here's the the crux of the issue right now okay I'm gonna line that up and I just don't want to get this too tight you tighten it up too much you're going to crack the porcelain. You have a chance to crack the porcelain. You don't want to do that. Okay. And so I'm going to make it snug first. I'm not going to over tighten it. And I'm going to go over to the other side. Okay. I just want it snug. Don't over tighten this. Please do not over tighten it. Okay. Before I do that anymore, I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Now, now you can't really see this one, okay? But I'm going to leave that rolling so you can see kind of the idea. Here's my plastic cap. I fit that on there. I've got my metal washer. I've got my nut. Okay. Put that on there. And I'm trying to center the plastic underneath the washer. And I've done that. And I'm going to take my wrench. I just have a crescent wrench, this little baby crescent wrench. And it's called a spanner wrench, too. Okay. And I'm going to tighten that down snug, okay? It's kind of a feel. You just don't have to go too much, but yet you want to get it, you, you've got to get it tight enough so that the toilet is not going to rock when I get done. And you're going to want to do a little test on that, especially if you're going to caulk it. Okay. And once you caulk that, it shouldn't rock at all because that's going to bond it right down to the toilet or down to the floor. Okay. Now, let's see how our shim is doing. Remember, I put a shim in right there. It feels nice and tight. And if I want, if I thought it was sticking out too far, I could take another one and maybe just hit it in a little bit. Use that as a hammer. Okay. That way, when I put my, my caulking in there, I don't hit that and I don't want that exposed. That, that, bottom, that bottom edge is only about half an inch thick. Okay, then it's hollow under there, so you don't want to push this in too far, else you're going to go too far. Okay, I think that's the only one we really need. So let's do the test. I'm going to turn this off real quick, get it reset up, and I'll kind of tell you what I do next. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.